Dude, Taylor Swift is so good. That might be one of the best music videos I've ever seen. All right, we just released our music video for our brand new song, Us. We are fighting for our survival to remain independent and keep creating our own music. So please, I will put the link pinned in the comments. Please click that link. Go support our song, Us. Go listen to it on Spotify or whatever streaming service you use. It is keeping us alive. So we put everything into this music video and into this song. Before we announce our upcoming tour, please go support. It is huge for us. And yeah. We are fighting for our survival and it is going to be our listeners that keep us alive. So we love you. Yeah, go check it out. I love you all. I mean, I'll be honest. My favorite song by Taylor Swift is Wildest Dreams, which I know a lot of y'all know. My band, we even did like a fun little Instagram cover of it in the kitchen. That was pretty fun. But I've never seen the music video. And now that we are making a switch over to music videos because so many videos are getting blocked on my channel of live performances, I was like, if I'm going to kick off music videos, I need to do artists that like, I love like certain songs. And so got to do Wildest Dreams. I've never seen it for one. Also, it's my favorite T-Swift song. So yeah, let's jump into it. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is this song's a banger. Switch my scene. Wrong scene. All right. First of all, I know that Taylor Swift always does amazing music videos super high caliber like really well made really professional i pretty much expect something amazing so let me have it dude i love this song so much oh it's in africa okay Start again. Don't hate brunette Taylor Swift. That's all I'm going to say. How much did this music video cost? Because that was a giraffe. And I know how much music video cost. Because our music video just came out on Friday for our song Us. And now I'm broke. So I can't imagine how much this cost. What? He said, let's get out of this town. Drive out of the city. Wow, this is incredible production. Like incredible production. Yeah, this is beautiful. Dude, what? I said no one has to know what we do. How? Dude. Oh. Lions and elephants and giraffes. Oh my. Dude, how much did this cost? This is incredible. How much did this... Th I, I want to look up what the bud production budget was for this music video. It looks incredible. Like, it looks... It, it, looks, it looks better than a movie. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. But it looks better than a movie. It's like film. I said no one has to know what we do. His hands are in my head. Hmm. Hmm. That's okay. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I know I pause all the time. Loves. I understand. I was literally just about to say, okay, but I wonder how she's going to turn the story given like the concept of the song. And this is awesome. This is awesome. Trouble on set. Now they're in an airplane? Wow. 
This is awesome. Dude. This is awesome. Hmm. Bridge. Wait. Was she actually sitting with a line right here? Who let Taylor Swift do this? That is a huge insurance issue. There's no way. There's no way. That has to be edited in. There's no way she actually sat in front of a line. This is a very good music video. This song hits me so deep in nostalgia. I don't know why. I don't know why. This song hits me with so many feels. I have no idea why, especially this bridge and the outro. I don't know why. Dude. This is an incredible production. Dude. Okay. This is where Taylor Swift is a genius. They're just on like a set and then you realize that like it's her having these experiences and it, she's created this whole imaginary world where they are and like what's happening and it encompasses the story of the song and then you realize that actually they're just on set but like this is like what she's feeling on the inside. Dude, she She's such a good storyteller. Like even like in this music video, I was not expecting that. Totally caught me off guard. Completely caught me off guard. Dude, she's, she's genuinely like, she's so good. This music video captures the story of the song even better. Like it makes me like the song even more. And it's already my favorite song of hers. Hmm. Hmm. The premiere. Mm. Mm. Damn. Damn, the onset romance. Dude, this adds a whole different level to this song. And like I genuinely this right here, I'm sorry, we're going back because this this down chorus right here. To like extend on the story and then like her going to the premiere and realizing this whole experience is basically just a memory and it like will never happen again just encompasses the concept of the song. Sorry, I've never seen this, so this is all hitting me for the first time. This is awesome. This is like oh, such good storytelling. Red lips and rosy cheeks, say you'll see me again, even if it's just pretend. Hmm. Yeah. This is great. Mm. Dude. First of all, the production budget of that music video was insane. The way she expands, though, on oh, and look, 1989. Uh, that's cool. Like, uh, I love that. Even the Easter eggs right here is just awesome. It's cool because, like, you listen to the song and you understand the story. To even add more layers in depth into the story, having that twist of the movie set and then just like kind of like her being brought back to reality of like almost like the end of shooting and stuff, and like this is over and it's never going to happen again. I never thought about this song as almost like a lost love that wasn't allowed to happen. I never thought about that. And that's kind of what the story of the music video tells. And it gives the song a much deeper meaning and feel. Dude, Taylor Swift is so good. That might be one of the best music videos I've ever seen. 